The West is in no position to lecture India on anything. It simply has no moral authority to occupy a high pedestal and begin sermonizing India. India is seen as a dirty, dusty, noisy and crime infested country by people in the West, especially in the United States of America. If anything, the West needs to learn from India. Here's how. Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tanya and if you haven't subscribed to TFI English yet, please hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to receive all the recent updates. Coming back to the story, I'll tell you why the West and especially the USA should stop sermonizing India. Let's begin. A recent example of America's disdain for India was seen when NPR journalist Lauren Freer arbitrarily presumed that an incident of train burglary in Los Angeles was from India. Lauren Freer had shared a ground report of a train burglary incident in Lincoln Heights in Los Angeles and claimed, At first glance, I thought this was India. A day later, she posted a screenshot of the racist tweet and said, I have deleted this tweet because it was insensitive. It must be mentioned that American media did some pretty dirty coverage of India's COVID-19 crisis, from marketing and earning from Indians' misery and prying upon their private spaces at crematoriums to even lying about floating dead bodies in the river Ganga and people burning their loved ones on the banks of rivers, to now covering up their country's COVID-19 situation. American media has done it all. India is depicted as a lawless and chaotic country where people are mannerless and have no decency. Yet, India needs to show America a mirror. The United States is no beacon of civilization for the world today. The West no longer leads the world. The democratic world, order centered around the United States, is inflicted with a variety of problems, the addressal of which seems to be least of their concerns. In another example of entitled Americans trying to tell India what is right and wrong, Gregory Stanton, the founding president of Genocide Watch, has asked the US Congress to pass a resolution that warns genocide should not be allowed to occur in India. Furthermore, Stanton also said Biden should tell Modi if genocide occurs, it will require us to reassess all our relations with India. From just the top of my head, the United States has the following problems out of a mountain of crisis it has to deal with. A homeless people problem, a poverty problem, an open defecation problem, a lawlessness problem, rising inflation, rising domestic polarization and political extremism an unemployment problem, a palpable racism problem, an illegal immigrant influx problem, the COVID-19 problem. Mind you, I have not even scratched the surface yet. America faces unquantifiable and innumerable problems. But let's talk briefly about two problems mentioned above. America's homeless problem and its open defecation crisis. Down the street from the US Capitol building, right in front of Union Station, several dozen tents have been erected. The area outside the train station is a 16-minute walk from the Capitol building. Homeless people have set base in Washington, D.C., the capital of United States. All these tents are occupied by homeless people. American lawmakers pass by these tents every day. Yet, nobody is fixing the problem. If such conditions prevail in Washington, D.C., you can only imagine how streets and public spaces in the rest of the country have been occupied by homeless people. Now, here's the thing. America's massive homeless people problem gives rise to another nasty problem. And that is the one where people begin pooping just about anywhere. Consider this, in 2019, San Francisco, a city in California, reported 30,894 instances of human waste being found at public places, including streets. The numbers until July 2021 stood at around 13,000, which is being considered a low by authorities in the West Coast city. How about crime? Well, inflation is skyrocketing, unemployment is off the roof, and people in general are very open to the idea of breaking the law in the United States. So, remember Lauren Freire, who thought the pictures of railroad areas in Los Angeles were actually scenes from India? Pictures posted by her are from another Californian city which has a widespread burglary and theft problem. 
Union Pacific recently released a statement that said real incidents in Los Angeles country including theft, assaults and armed robberies of Union Pacific employees rose 160% last year. In the three months of 2021, when holiday shipping was at its peak, an average of more than 90 containers were compromised every day. India had an open defecation problem, we fixed it. India had a poverty problem, we are fixing it. India's economy is going stronger while world economies suffer and bleed. India is today a much more civilized and culturally rooted country. We don't loot cargo containers for sustenance, for example. Can America claim the same? I don't think so. Instead of preaching to India, the West should look inward and fix its many problems before they end up consuming Western society. This is Tanya signing off until the next time.